The JLT novices chase. It's the JLT pool, not BLT. Uh, right. <laughs> I should say, I should say, we did one of these for a far smaller crowd in a, a, on they Tuesday night. I don't want to hear about this joke. On Tuesday Just night, don't. and Chapman was calling me the BLT, so I'm delighted Achilles <laughs> here tonight to take a little bit of the, uh, the bacon off me. I just looked across and... God's on the truth. I just thought, which one shall I go for? Matt, Matt. <laughs> it, 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 it was... I don't eat tomatoes. No, no, you'd have it. <laughs> Always extra sausage. Right. Um, the JLT novices chase is quite open. All this, by the way. I'm hoping Twisty <laughs> might turn up during this because, of course, his old man trains the favourite. But one horse I left off of Philip Hobbs, and the reason I did that was because, as far as I'm aware, everyone at the moment is 50-50 about Garde La Victoire who certainly would have an each-way chance in the Arkle. He said to me, uh, 60, 70, 80 minutes ago, that it's now probable, he said, probably Gala Victoire will run in the JLT and won't take on Duvan. So that is uh, one less rival to Richie. Worry about. <laughs> and therefore, Gala Victoire, I think, comes in as a very solid each-way chance, stepping up in distance. Let's ask the Chambers whether he... Actually, no, let's not. Let's ask Keeley whether he agrees I've had enough of Chambers for the time being. Yeah, I think uh, this race is... JLT, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Keeley, the racing post. This is the one race where trying to pin down what's going to run in it is very hard. Um, for Do you believe most any of this nonsense about more of that? No, not at all, no. Um, so the horse is either injured or... McCoy doesn't want anyone to win a festival winner for his old. No, I don't know. I think they're thinking about it. From what we've heard, uh, you know, if John Joe had his, had his way, he'd be running it in the Gold Cup. They think that much of it. So, As he said to me at the Grand National. So, race, yeah, exactly. So, you know, uh, Moore, that's a very, very good horse. I think it's, it's, it's less likely for him to go there, even though Moore, that has run over two and a half mile times, far more times than he's run over three. I doubt he'll go. Um, I put up Bristol de Meyer a few weeks ago at 12 to 1. I thought that was a decent each way price. I wouldn't touch him at seven to two, to be honest, because he, you know, as well as he jumps, as good as he's looked, he needs to show that he can do that on decent ground, which is looking like it's going to be. I do like his run style for the race. Ground wasn't bad at Sandown really last well. time, though, was it? It was good to sort. No, it was, no, it was, it was a bit softer than that. Just taking the solid. official description. It was yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you Simon can't Cleese believe was the on day release, though. <laughs> They said last year's Gold Cup was run on soft ground. It was nearly 25 seconds faster than the last soft ground Gold Cup, so. Okay. You know, you're getting, you know, if you, if you take going descriptions at face value all the time, you're going to be reading wrong form lines yeah, because correct. they're just not. I mean, look at the time, see what's happening, compare them to past years, you know, look at the pace of the race, that sort of thing. You cannot just say, you know, Clark, of course, says that's soft ground and it's soft ground. Plus, there are degrees of soft, there are degrees of heavy, there are degrees of everything. We've got some very small descriptions of what the ground can be and it can be an awful lot different. And I thought it was softer than they said then. Um, I think Bristol Dumais is a very, very good horse. I mean, the trainer says he called it his sprint a sacra. I mean, I think he got it wrong because the horse is a three miler, not a two miler. Um, but he, this is the same trainer that said the new one's going to win the champion hurdle every year. Good, yeah, but you know, he might yeah. yet be right. But I doubt it, but you know, he might be. Um, now, hearing that Gardla Victoire is going, I think he's, he's yeah, a very true. decent horse. Yeah. He's a very decent horse and he likes Cheltenham and he's already won over two and a half mile. Um, otherwise, I'd have put up Zabana as a likely outsider because he needs decent ground. Uh, he was second in the Cold Cup to Obertree Swan last year, so you've got your festival form. He's a double figure price, about 14 to 1. Okay, thanks, Paul. Um, Rich, let's go to you next. Well, I can tell you, Pont Alexander won't run in it. Um, he'll either run in the uh, RSA or the um, four miler. Um, in this race, um, well, if more of that runs, I fancy him. Um, but I think he'll certainly go for the RSA if he is going to run, I think. Um, I, I like Gardner Victoire. That's news as well. He's a very good horse. I would agree with that. Um, I what this show's about, uh, Rich, news. What's that? It's what this whole thing's about, news. Hardcore news. That's yeah, what we're here for. Doing my best. I've told you people where they're try trying to tell people whether people are running, and I told you about Calc here. Um, I think... In this race, yeah, Gardner Victoire would be my pick, I think. Or Bristol to mine, but I think Gardner Victoire would be my choice. Joe, of course, in your job as racing manager, the best bit about the job is that you can speak to Willie Mullins and back all the good things for yourself. Um, 
When I, when I <laughs> ring Willie Mullins, he's got two red bet- buttons on his phone, decline or decline. <laughs> really? Yeah. Speaks to me for that. hours. Yeah, um, no, right. Uh, and have you ever got any scoop off him? No. End of story. Um, JLT, JLT, I really hope Willie runs Black Hercules here. Um, I think he would have a massive chance. And that also means that uh, more of that may go to the RSA against No More Heroes. And I want to back, back more of that wherever he goes. So I kind of want more of that to go RSA and Black Hercules to go JLT. And that would be the two of them. I want to be against No More Heroes. And I think the JLT and the RSA overlap a little bit. So I, I hope they go JLT with Black Hercules. He travels well, jumps well, even though Ruby fell off him the last day. Um, jockey fault, not horse. And right. It's a safe. Black Hercules runs a JLT, he'll have my money. And I hope more of that goes in the RSA because he'll have my money. Simple as that. Brilliant. OK, let's just go down the panel, though, for those who just got lost in the mire there. Paul? Yeah, now I know God, the Victoire's running in it. I think he's probably the value at 7-1. You're going to have a shocking channel. I'm with you again. Oh, um, no. Joe? I hope Black Hercules runs in it. And he's, what, 12s or something And like that Rich Richie? Well. I'm on that Keeley sandwich, absolutely, all the way. That'll Sorry, take you got a Victoire. JLT. That'll take an hour and a half to eat. <laughs> <laughs> just the... The idea of Chambers in a sandwich with anything is worrying me. Well, Sam hasn't talked about Bristol to me yet, and I think, oh, right. okay. I think Rich, the crowd, would like to know what the trainer's son sure. thinks about right. the JLT novices' chase. Yep. Yep. So, Sam, you are the trainer's son. Um, a moo man, you've often described your old man <laughs> as, but as your mum's in the audience, I'm sure you won't say that tonight. She might, she might agree, yeah. <laughs> Brist- she has to ride out as well. <laughs> Bristol de May, yeah, the he, big hope of Twisty? He's, he's our best Shh. chance for a festival winner. Just 10 minutes, ladies um, and gentlemen. He's our best chance for a festival winner. He's in great form. He's been trained, r- training really well. If it was soft ground, you'd be very confident. But being with the ground as Cheltenham is usually ends up being good. That's the one thing. He takes horses out of their comfort zone on bad ground. On good ground, he might not find it as easy, but even so, he's still a very, very good horse and will take all the beating. And Duvan in the arc all impossible to beat? Oh, it's going to be very, very tough. Um, I tried to make a point the other night at a preview evening where I thought um, there'd be a horse in the race that would go off fast and get him out of his comfort zone, but all the boys slagged me for that and said I was wrong. So I'm going to just uh, agree that I think, yes, he'd be very, very hard to beat. Okay.